popping wheelies it's, it's fun it's cool you know what i mean and when this happens So, front of the car is off the ground. Show you a demonstration. It should be easy to turn the wheels left and right. This is a result of lifting the front off the ground, popping wheelies. It comes down hard. Um, you do it a whole lot. This is what's going to pretty much happen in your cart. I'm not complaining. I've had fun doing it. I don't mind fixing it. Okay? So, just thought I'd show you. It's a simple fix. It's a, so the yoke attaches the steering column to the rack and pinion of the golf cart, and that's generally what fails, or the bolt on it is what fails. Cheap. Uh, I've done a video on this before. Uh, it wasn't as bad as this because it was back and forth like this, but this lets you know how bad it can be when you're doing stupid stuff like popping wheelies. Listen, it's fun. Don't, don't get me wrong. I've done it. I've had fun doing it. I don't condone it. Uh, if you, you got a golf cart with pop wheels, pop wheels, man, you know? So, there we go. It's barely turning, it's barely grabbing. When you get all the way to the left here, it'll still keep going. Go to the right. We're gonna fix that in today's video. We've already done this before. Uh, we'll see if the screw on here is is loose on the yoke or if the screw or if the whole yoke and everything needs to be replaced. I'm not sure. Let's just get started. So in order to access the yoke, what I'm going to do is remove this front bumper here. And by doing that, I'm going to take this right here tires as I'm working on this bolt. I'm going to turn this tire out. Now, by doing that, we're going to be able to access this bolt a lot easier in here now. So I'm using a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench on the bottom. I'm using a half inch uh, ratcheting wrench on the top to remove that one bolt. And then once I get that bolt removed, I'm working on the passenger side bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the tires towards the passenger side to give me room to work on that side. And then we'll go ahead and pull the front bumper off and we should have a lot easier access, uh, you know, on the yoke. So let's get started. All right, we got a nut off. We got the bolt off here. We need to repeat the same process on the passenger side. Now that you have both those bolts off, you can be able to pull your front bumper out like so. So on our yoke here, see this right here is the uh, bolt that clamps the yoke together that makes, uh, uh, that, that actually clamps down to the steering rack here. This is loose. We need to tighten it up. It's going to take a 10 millimeter socket our ratcheting wrench. We're gonna use a ratcheting wrench here. Wow, look at how, look at how loose that was. Just goes to show you that popping wheels and making wheelies are fun, but it, you know, it does jar stuff loose underneath the golf cart. Oh. Let's look at this. Oh yeah, you see the bolt is now coming through the other side of the yoke there. Not sure if y'all can see that on camera. Maybe you can. See there, a lot, a lot better there. Let's continue to tighten it down just a smidge more. You know. Mm, oh yeah. That should be a lot better there. Let's see. Now what we need to do is repeat the process, put the front bumper back on and uh, uh, bolt it back together. Now, one of the things I've noticed that my tires are starting to wear while I have them off the ground, I'll start here. We're gonna go ahead and rotate them. This one right here is going to the back passenger side. The front right one's going back to the back driver's side. The back driver's side's coming to the front driver's side. The back passenger side's coming towards the front uh, passenger side as well. On these mods uh, wheels here, we're going to be using a three quarter inch socket and it's going to be on a half inch drive using an extension pneumatic.
like it's fixed there, guys. It doesn't want to turn. I don't have no play up here. No play in the steering wheel at all. So that portion is fixed. We didn't have to spend any money. So if you have a loose uh, steering wheel, you might be able to just tighten the yoke up itself. However, if it's if it's just worn out, I'll show you a picture of a worn out one here, which was the last one that I replaced on here. Um, it was bad, so I just wanted to replace it for like 15 bucks. I'll put a link in the description below, but let's take it and see what it does right down the road. All right, much, much easier. That truck's having some problems right there, which we'll turn around right here, but as you can tell, no play whatsoever in the wheels and tires. It's good to have a cart back, especially one that will turn again. Now, there's some other broken features from our wheelie that we're gonna be uh, upgrading or replacing in the next couple of videos. So stay tuned to that because we're about to put this golf cart on the do let's go. And what I mean by that is it's about to be for sale because we have too many in the fleet and we need to free up some room.